Is it comfortable? No. This is your bed, right? No. I feel like such an idiot after reading that. What if you were stuck? Hey friends, we're the Browns. Chad, Katie, Addison, and Kenya, Milo, and Charlie. We live to love an adventure. This is our story of leaving the norm behind to travel the United States full time, spreading love and encouraging others to do the same. Our family motto is love always, adventure often. So hit subscribe and join us for this incredible journey. Hey my friends, welcome to Love Always Adventure Often. The bus saga continues. A couple of updates and uh, a couple of really cool things and one really unfortunate thing. <laughs> I made a giant expensive mistake and I can't believe I did it. It was so stupid. Um, but a couple of videos ago or maybe last video, I uh, talked about our flooring that we found and that I loved it. This rubber flooring, so awesome, right? And it is beautiful, it's awesome flooring. However, I didn't take into consideration the extreme temperatures of the bus, um, even already in the spring. And it's been getting pretty hot in here because we don't have our air conditioners installed yet. And this floor is moving and buckling like crazy. So I think we spent $350 on this stuff. Um, and it's really cool stuff. It locks together, it doesn't need any underlayment, and, uh, and you can install it on any surface. However, it doesn't do well in temperature changes. So at night it's getting cool, obviously, and in the day it's just getting hot as hell. And so I'll show you what is happening to this floor. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. I have to completely rethink the floor. And we've already built walls on top of the floor and you know, built the bench on top of the floor. Ah, I'm just, I'm freaking devastated. I mean, no, not only have we done all those things, we're out $350. That's <laughs> a lot of money. So anyway, I'll show you how it's buckling. So I don't know if you can see this or not, but it's got this huge wave in it right here. And then this joint is just completely buckling and, and pulling out. Another bubble there. And then this towards the front of the bus, just pulling right up off the floor. Huge buckle in the floor. So after coming out here and discovering that our beautiful floor had bubbled and buckled, I started reading the packaging and it says literally right on the packaging, do not install over carpet, foam underlayment, or in sunrooms, solar, solariums, solariums, <laughs> saunas, seasonal porches, camping trailers, and RVs, boats and RVs. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I feel like such an idiot after reading that and uh, now I gotta come up with another solution. Hey, so we're finally ready to show you, ta-da, our bench. So we haven't painted it yet. There's a few minor tweaks that we need to make to it, but Katie's dad, my father-in-law, um, built this bench. We found a couple patterns online, and then he is, his brain went to work and just like put it all together and did some cool things with it that I wanna show off a little bit. <laughs> so Katie is demonstrating how much storage we have Ow. inside the bench. <laughs> Ah, it's not quite shut. You need to shut it some more. <laughs> All right, so obviously there's a lot of storage. You can fit an entire human being under there. An adult human being. An adult human being. What if you were stuck? <laughs> that was one of our biggest things is we didn't want to lose any storage as much as possible. So we still completely have all of the storage underneath the bench, underneath the seat part. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount this camera and then I'll show you how we convert it into a bed. Oh, hi. We're basically gonna show you how it converts into a bed. So first thing is we just take this front part, scooch it out. I'll show you a close up, but basically we have um, these drawer tracks that are installed on these two by fours so that they slide nice and neat and so that they create a stop where this thing's supposed to stop. We didn't have to mess with our storage at all when we pull it out. That was a big thing. 
because I've seen some designs that have this back frame that moves with the front frame and you have to clear out all your storage to, to be able to do that. So then we basically just take this piece, slide it back in, and voila, it's a bed. Is it comfortable? No. <laughs> But you fit. <laughs> so anyway, obviously the cushions for the couch will be the cushions for the bed. We'll put some Velcro down so that they stay in place and that'll be good. So let's put it back. You can come visit us and sleep on our couch. And voila. So the other thing I want to show you is when we have it in the bench position, we just have these locking parts right here and they just lock up so that this thing stays pretty stable. What are you doing, Kenya? Spackling. Spackling? Let's see, what does that mean? It means filling the, whole, the screws with putty type stuff. How do you do that? You just wipe it like this. Oh, look at this handiwork. Kenya Originals, right here. Is it fun? Yeah. Why do we cover them? So, so that they don't show. <laughs> Obviously. Because we're getting ready to paint, right? Yeah. We don't want the screws to show. And there's a lot of them. You better get to work, girl. There's about a million to go. This is your bed, right? No. Yes, it is. No. Oh no, this is your bed up here. This is Milo's bed. What's this? What's this hole? Can you explain what these holes are? They're for books or just anything you want to keep in them. Anything that you want to keep next to your bed. It's yeah. a nice little pocket. Has a bottom in it. So hopefully books fit nicely. Flashlights. Uh, flashlights. Water bottle. Water bottle. Booger rags. Those are called tissues, Dad. Oh, I'm sorry, tissues. Good girl. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. Oh, oh. Nice. Oh. That part There's a wall behind you. <laughs> Charlie, come here. Come here. Sit down. Go. Alright, so that's the progress we've made this week. We're just about to paint. Painting is the next uh, is the next thing, and then we're gonna be getting our cabinets and our appliances Woo! and our mattresses and getting our all of our water hooked up and And we're gonna be ready to go camping in one week. No, we're not. No. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for watching. We'll uh, show more progress next week, hopefully. And uh, what do we say? Love always adventure often. Love always adventure often. Bye. Bye. <laughs> wow. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy seeing our videos as much as we love making them. Don't miss a single adventure or bus moment. Make sure you hit subscribe and share with everyone you know. We'll see you next week and remember to love always and adventure often.